Alright, hey guys, Medusa here. We are playing some Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns now. Uh, I will be skipping all the cutscenes because Square Enix is, doesn't like that. Doesn't like you to put cutscenes in there, so I'll be skipping all that. We are learning about the battle controls in the... Whatever the hell that is. The Paradigm shit. So let's take the torch. Lightning can be moved about the battlefield by using the L stick. Unleash abilities by pressing the button associated with the set ability. If you hold the button down, lightning will fire off attack after attack until you run out of ATB. Each ability will consume some amount of lightning's ATB. Her ATB gauge illustrates the source of her power in is displayed <coughs> in the lower left corner, hand corner of the screen. Hold down B and keep attacking until the ATV gate is empty. In battle, lightning can swift between different combinations of equipment in Guru, known as whatever. Up to three different whatever can be used in a battle, but at the moment, Lightning only has two whatever set switching between paradigm ships. It uh, takes hardly a moment, and you can switch as many times as you like in battle. Press LB or RB to switch between paradigm ships. What's done? You you changed to the dark mu muse paradigm ship and changed lightning's ability. Each paradigm ship has its own ATB game. To fuel its own particular ability just now you switch from the red ATB gauge of Savior to the yellow ATB gauge of Dark Mute. Using abilities in battle consume ATB gauge. Each but each paradigm shift ATB gauge will replenish with time. Standby paradigm shift will recover ATB gauge more quickly. You can see the ATB gauge for Lightning's standby paradigm shift. The Savior will regain ATB gauge more quickly than her current active paradigm shift star from you. Keep an eye on both your ATB gauge in the enemy's condition in order to switch between this uh, paradigm shift in battle efficiency. Use your paradigm shift to calm victory in battle. It's done. Destiny is destiny. Okay. We got poison this thing. Sounds cool. Okay, it's loading. Alright, now uh, let change current camera. Nope. Uh, Damn, trapped. The army The belt hairball sounds kind of creepy. Deemed safe. I guess that means clearing out all the monsters, right? Again. 
guarding. Next turn. See through your enemy's movements and guard against incoming attack to reduce the damage you take from them. Press the button just before an enemy connects with its attack and you will pull off a perfect guard. Perfectly guarding greatly reduces the damage uh, you take from attack, allowing you to brush them off without breaking a sweat. If you hold down X, the X button, you can take a defensive stand and maintain a stable guard. Uh, press or hold X, down X to try a perfect to try protecting your guard. Unfortunately, you did not succeed in guarding yourself that time. For a guard attempt to succeed, you must successfully aid you to be dead to me. In time, the guard uh, something to meet the attack. The Anubis or you now attack using a bad one. If you can see um, uh, through the pattern of its movements, you should be able to guard against it. Try once again, press X in try X in guard right for the enemy attack. Failed again. We gotta do it again. Eyes to the future. All oh, right, we got it. Cool. Uh, this. Oh, uh, I was pressing the A button. Okay, that's what I was like. Where am I not guarding? Okay, you got it against the attack. By learning how to predict <coughs> your enemy's moves, you should be able to improve the timing of your guard attacks. Watch how the Anubis in front of you attacks using its battle axe. When you notice your enemy readying an attack, go ahead to reduce the damage to your HP and fight back with physics. If your HP reaches zero, then you fight, da 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 da. Uh, you can recover your items to restore XP by pressing start to open a button. Lightning XP carries over into the fight, into the field after battle. Outside of battle, press Y to open the menu and select the recovery item to you. Heal yourself when you are in danger to increase your chance of Skip the cutscene. You did it. Now go and find snow. Alright, well now we gotta go find snow. And the uh I think the LD is or the L something is. A glimmer of light appears at last. 
Oh, we gotta skip this too. Okay, well we're just gonna... We're gonna uh, skip this. Cause... Yeah. Okay. Just no. Come tracking. Alright. Got you. You need to hurry. Not this snow. What's snow up to anyway? Where's he going? I'm getting powerful chaos streaming inside the house. Great. Charging target. Changing target. Uh. We're gonna skip that. Oh, that's the nab nabot. Or nabot. Or that's it. Whatever it is. Alright. Alright, we've got a nabot. A hairball in a poisonous thing. That's cool. And that's exactly where he seems to be headed. What the hell is he thinking? Running straight into the chaos? Is he going there to try yeah. to stop it, or is he to use it against us somehow? You'll have to ask him yourself. How high is the obstruction? Did you notice how the people here call Snow the Patron? He's in charge of this city, and has been for a long time. The Patron? I don't see it. Sure, he liked to look after people, but lording it over an entire city? Alright, we got an enemy of the weapon. Well, it wasn't his choice. He started out just trying to help everyone, and eventually, he became ruler by popular acclaim. Although I'm not so sure he actually rules anything anymore, he doesn't do much these days except preside over the nightly revelry. Lord of the Doesn't look like right. Bad hair bot. Cutscene. Easy does it, Lenny. When that door opened, chaos remains in the whole area spiked. The source of the chaos. Right, really? The chaos is powerful in this area. Alright, cutscene, skip the cutscene. Alright. We got our first boss encounter. This is the demo. Thing, so I'm gonna skip this. Alright, come on, Booba.
Cutscene, I think. Nope, this is not a cutscene. Uh, well, okay, guys, uh, this is it for the first episode. Uh, I like this game so far. Uh, took me a, took me a lot longer to beat that guy in the demo, so apparently I'm learning this game somewhat. So uh, come and join me on episode two. Uh, as always, have a wonderful day. All right, bye.